the next few days, including three first alerts, mainly for dangerous heat. But as we always say this time of year, you can never rule out a shower or a storm as well. I'm in the first alert weather center with meteorologist Lisa Viegas and our break from those triple digit feels like temperatures. Over, huh? Over. Yeah. Get ready. Here we go. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yes. So tomorrow, this is when it all kick starts here, Jamie. Today, nothing compared to what we're expecting for tomorrow. So this is what we're seeing right now. 88 degrees, which has been the warmest temperature we have seen so far today. Lucky us, of course. We still have the humidity in place, so it is still feeling like the mid-90s. And just get ready for similar dew points when you add in the humidity. It makes it feel even worse for tomorrow. And then those actual temperatures in the mid 90s. It's going to be brutal. You're going to notice it. But in the meantime, I do want to point this out. Showers and thunderstorms out towards our west, even approaching those in Avery County, slowly inching closer and closer towards the east. Now, as that happens, not ruling out some showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two later on this evening. I'm probably thinking around 7, 8 o'clock for those right along I-77, including Mecklenburg County. An isolated, strong or severe thunderstorm can't be ruled out either. Biggest threats with that potential will be damaging wind speeds and heavy downpours. Now, the further south you are, southwest, more likely that we're going to see that taking place later on this evening. The further north you are, the less likely we are going to see that taking place. So let's put this in motion. Fast forwarding to around 7, 8 o'clock here. You can see the possibility of some showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two. The bulk of that activity will be down towards the south, where I do think we'll have a greater severe weather threat. But as the sun gets ready to set right around 820, all of that fuel that we're watching kind of just dies out. So the potential there is going to be limited, especially later on around 10, 11 o'clock. Everything just kind of dies out here over our viewing area. So by tomorrow morning, we don't have to worry about the rain chances. Temperatures lower 70s for most locations, but like this morning, the potential for some patchy fog will be possible. I don't quite think it's going to be as widespread, but something to watch out for again tomorrow. Now tomorrow afternoon is when we get ready for another first alert. This has to do with the heat temperatures. Air temperatures are going to rise into the mid lower 90s, depending on where you are. So mid 90s down across the sand hills, the Piedmont area over in the foothills. Temperatures lower 90s there and lower 80s up in the mountains. But of course, it's going to feel a little bit warmer and those air temperatures are going to remain hot here mid upper 90s through Saturday. But of course, it's going to feel like those triple digits just for the next three days, at least it feeling like 100 degrees plus. For example, tomorrow feeling like 103, 105 on Thursday, 104 potentially here on Friday. So yes, it is going to be a little brutal here finishing out the work week. Hopefully you're working inside with the AC. Now, if you are not and you're outside, take lots of breaks, stay hydrated. Of course, when it comes to any kind of rain relief, it will be limited, not completely zero, but an isolated shower thunderstorm. Yeah, it'll be possible for the next couple of days. Friday ramping up more so later on in the evening, and then we'll have a better shot of that relief by this weekend once that humidity drops a little bit. So here is a look at your seven day forecast. I want to give you some time to just absorb this all temperatures mid upper 90s for the next three days, feeling like 100 degrees plus. And then as we head to the weekend, rain thunderstorm chances increase slightly. But Jamie, we do remain in the 90s yeah. finishing out the seven day forecast. Yeah, the yuck factor pretty high the next <laughs> few days. Lisa, thank you. As you just